Hi, my name is Mike Scanlon, and I want to introduce you to the James Brinkley Company and our roll wrapping equipment. The James Brinkley Company has been manufacturing pulp and paper mill equipment for over 50 years. We manufacture a wide variety of agitators, conveying equipment, and process equipment. We also manufacture roll wrapping systems. James Brinkley roll wrapping equipment is intended for lower rate production situations that don't justify a completely automatic system and its high cost and complexity. While our wrapping systems can be made semi-automatic, the operators still have to take part in the wrapping process. Let's look at a typical system from start to finish. Rolls are usually brought into the wrapping system through a series of conveyors. These conveyors use either a heavy-duty belt supported by a roll case as shown here, or chain conveyors with steel plate slats. Both can be made substantial enough for forklift travel. Roll sequencing and handling can be made automatic and includes kickers, stops, turntables, and ramps to make roll handling easier. These are normally air operated for simpler, cleaner operation. Brinkley integrates the sensors and operating devices into the roll handling controls. Rolls can be centered for proper wrapping. This can be done manually with a shuttle cart as shown here, or automatically with a centering conveyor. During this operation, the operator determines the roll width and selects the proper width of wrapper. Rolls are then fed into the wrapper crimper mechanism. This equipment is designed to accept and cushion the roll. In this sequence, the operator feeds wrapper to the roll and tapes the leading edge, rotates the turning rolls to wrap the roll, cuts the wrapper, and then tapes the end in place. A more automatic system is available. Automatic systems sense roll diameter and automatically feed wrapper and transfer it to the roll with a vacuum transfer system. The wrapper is then cut with an air-operated knife. Glue can also be applied automatically. Where does the wrapper come from? Brinkley uses an overhead wrapper backstand which holds from four to six wrapper rolls of varying widths. This unit holds four rolls. Wrapper width can be selected automatically or, as in this case, manually. Wrapper rolls are chucked on through shafts. They are then loaded onto the backstand with an integral overhead crane. Wrapper shafts have air-operated brakes to prevent overrunning. Rubber-coated wrapper feed rolls are electrically driven. With the proper wrapper width selected, an air clutch is engaged, and a variable frequency drive controlled motor feeds the wrap. Wrap drive speed is synchronized with turning roll speed. To allow for roll heading, the edges of the wrapped roll must be crimped. In this system, inner heads are used to protect the exposed edge of the product. They are normally installed manually prior to wrapping and are held in place with a core plug. Crimping is an automatic operation, starting when the push button is actuated and running through a time cycle. If desired, glue can also be applied to the crimped edge during this operation. The crimping system is flexible, operating with a wide variation in overhang and roll width. Normally, five inches of overhang is optimal. As you can see here, very high diameter to width rolls can be successfully wrapped and crimped. The wrapper crimper system is usually hydraulically powered since the crimpers must be held in the correct location with regard to the roll. Brinkley provides the complete hydraulic system, including reservoir, pump, motor, valves, filter, and oil cooler, all designed to tough mill standards. Brinkley provides complete control systems, including manual and automatic modes to allow complete flexibility of operation. 
shown here is the variable frequency drive system used to vary the speeds of the turning rolls, wrap feed rolls, and crimper to accommodate different sizes of rolls. These drives are integrated into the control system, as are the operator control stations that Brinkley provides. Once the roll is crimped, heads must be attached. The Brinkley header consists of two electrically heated platens which are air operated to position and hold the heads against the roll while they set. As shown here, the heads are manually placed and held in position with an integral fan on each header which draws air through the platens. The heated platens fuse the plastic coated heads to the roll. This is done at a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Lower temperature heated platens are used to dry glue. After heading, the roll is ejected and weighed. The roll is now ready for shipment. Automatic weighing and roll handling is also available. This is the Brinkley roll wrap system. Equipment is modular, so optional features with a greater or lesser automation can be built in. The system is factory erected and completely tested using your rolls and wrapper prior to shipment. This makes installation and startup rapid and simple. If your roll wrapping needs do not require an elaborate, fully automated, expensive system, Brinkley can meet your needs. Please call us for information or just to discuss your application.